Hey everybody, Mr. Morell here. We're going to talk about scatter plots in this video. Uh, you have come across scatter plots a lot, so there's not a lot of help that I think that you need in this video, I'm guessing. Um, but I'm going to make this video anyway so that I feel like a good person. All right. So, first of all, definitions. A scatter plot is a graph that shows the relationship between two variables. Those two variables are known as the dependent variable and the independent variable. On a graph, the independent variable is found on the x-axis. We've talked about that a lot in the past, especially uh, when we were talking about domains and ranges. And then on a graph, the dependent variable is found on the y-axis. All right, so let's take a look down here. Um, cool. So um, this is real data that was collected um, from one of the ninth grade classes. And um, what you're going to see here is a unit 8 test score and a second trimester final grade. So this came from last year. I really did look at a class's Unit 8 test score and compared it to their final grade. I recorded the information. Of course, everything is anonymous. Um, and yeah, what I'm asking you to do here is to create a scatter plot of this data. So I'm not going to do this whole thing, but I do expect you to do this whole thing. Um, but we'll go through a couple of students here. So students 1, 2, and 3. Let's plot those. So student 1 got a 21 on um, his unit 8 test score and ended up with an 82% for their final grade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over 21 to show that that was the score on the unit 8 test score and then all the way up to 81 uh, or 82%. Um, that is going to be, I think, right here. Oh my gosh, can you see? 21... That is a dot right there. Okay. Student 2 got a 24 on the test and ended up with an 81% um, final grade. So got a little bit better on this test score, but overall their grade was a little bit less. Student 3 got a 23 on their test score and an 88% final grade. So that would be right here, I do believe. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through and put the dots for each student. I know it's tedious, but you can do it, and I expect you to do it, um, and things like that. Then, down here, for the level 2 questions, you need to identify the independent and dependent variables. So, um, question 5, the independent, well, that's going to be the things on the x-axis. So that's going to be our unit 8 test score. And I think you can figure out the dependent one. And then this is kind of an opinion question. Once you have all of your dots placed down, um, I kind of want you to tell me how strong do you think the relationship is between the Unit 8 test score and their final grade. Is it a super strong relationship? Is it very strong? Maybe it's just kind of strong? Or maybe it's really weak? You're just going to have to plot the dots and tell me how strong do you think that relationship is. All right, let's go on to the back side. Level 3 questions are asking you for a little bit more. So, what it wants you to do is to go back to the earlier page. So, go back to the front of this worksheet, and it wants you to draw a straight line. So, use a ruler or another paper or something, and you want it to go through these two points. So, notice over here, students 3 and 20 are highlighted. So, what you need to do is you need to go find the dots that you put on the graph that match students... 3 and 20, and you're going to draw a straight line that goes all the way through. And then on question 9, you need to use those two points to write the equation, just like we did um, on the... What am I saying? Just like we did on the last homework assignment, on homework assignment 10.1. Um, and then what we're going to do is use that line to... Um, let's see... Use the equation you wrote in question 9 to predict. So that line that you're drawing in the equation you're making is like a predictor. 
it's able to say, hey, we could plug in the number 17 into whatever equation you wrote up here and estimate what we think their final grade is going to be. So that's what you need to do there. And then for question 11, it's almost like backwards. You're going to plug 95 into your equation that you've written, and you have to figure out where does that belong. Does it belong with the x number or the y number? And then you're going to use that equation to predict... Um, you're going to use the equation from question 9 to predict what what test score do you think that student got um, there. All right. And I know that that was kind of like such a short video, but this is scatter plots, and I just I believe in you guys. You're pretty great people. Okay, bye.